Aaron, welcome. A, a lively morning having the team photo taken, signed up and, and ready for a new season with, with Accrington Stanley. What brought this move about and, and what kind of a challenge does this present for you? Uh, well, first of all, delighted to have to signed. Obviously, played against you last year and uh, both times I thought you were, you were superb and probably uh, the best footballing team in the league. Um, spoke to the gaffer uh, f a few weeks back and uh, it progressed from there. Um, but delighted to get it signed and, uh, you know, we're aiming to go. John Coleman said a few times in this pre-season that he's had players that he's spoken to who have said what an impact last season's form had on people. Would you fit into that camp? Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, obviously, playing against Accrington twice, I thought they they were superb last year in the way they played football. Um, it was a credit to, to the club and, and did the league uh, justice. You know, a lot of people from the outside of Accrington really uh, stood up and, and took notice of him. And I knew uh, knew Billy Key a little bit and, uh, and spoke to him about it as well. And uh, you know, he only had good things to say about the club uh, and all the staff as well. So it was, uh, you know, I was delighted to get it done. Coming in after that season, not just yourself, there's a fairly large influx of players have come in. Is the big challenge to try and go one better and, and replicate it but win the promotion? Yeah, well, I think that should be the same. You know, No matter what club you're at, you've got to strive for, to do the best you can and, and, and aim for the top. Everyone this time of the year will be thinking of promotion, but we're no different and within the camp we believe we can get promoted. We've got a good squad of players. Um, but it's always going to come down to uh, you know the small details and the finer details throughout uh, a long season in League 2, which it is. This club's been known and this management team's been known for perhaps signing young players who've been discarded by other teams, this, that and the other. They've not in the past really been able to bring in too many players with lots of experience at, at this level. Is that something you can offer? Is that something you'll be going out of your way to help young lads out if they want it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I've got uh, you know, a fair few games under my belt now, nearly 400 and played um, you know, throughout, throughout the leagues and the last four, four seasons with, with Exeter in League Two. And you know, I'll be there to, to help the young lads and uh, help, help everyone. But we've got a good group here. Everyone chips in and you know, everyone gets beyond each other and demand, demands the best from each other. I think it's just about setting standards and setting your standards as, as high as you can and the best you can. And if each individual does that, you know, we won't be far off. I'm sure you've been taking a great interest in, in pre-season and how it's gone. The manager's spoken a few times about attacking threat and trying to pause more. That must be music to your ears, getting that opportunity. Yeah, yeah, the gaffer uh, plays a good brand of football and, uh, you know, he demands you, you try and get on the ball and make things happen and go forward. And, you know, he always says he, he wants to be excited and, you know, that's, that's music to my ears. But the way they played, they played last year, especially when they played us down at Exeter, we ended up winning the game somehow, but we all come off the pitch and we was like, you know, we've been done there. How we've won that game was was beyond us. But um, yeah, look, look and play a good brand of football. It's about winning games, and you know, it's, you can win a game a million ways. And you know, we'll be looking throughout the season, just take them wins off and get as high as we can up that table. Early days, of course, but what are the impressions of, of the club and the management and the group of players? Oh, the lads, top jaw, they're all, they're all mad in there. We just had the, the team photos in. It took about 45 minutes to get everyone through with everyone hammering each other. But, uh, you know, a great bunch of lads and, and the gaffer and, and Jimmy and all the staff are top jaw and, uh, you know, very demanding and set, set high standards. And I believe that's, that's what you should do in, in, you know, all walks of life, not just football, but um, it stands us in good stead. And less than a week, Doncaster here. <laughs> It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it comes around quick and obviously, you know, the adrenaline will be building up this week and, and looking forward to it. You know, I've got a lot of friends within football and everyone's getting geared up for this weekend and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's another season. Back back to work now and, you know, business starts Saturday. Uh, let's get going. Has it flown by the summer? Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, your time off flies by. Uh, Pre-season drags on a little bit, but obviously the, f the first couple of weeks for the season just want to go as quick as possible and uh, get as fit as possible and raring to go. And we talked about the aspirations for the club. For you personally, what kind of ambitions are there to come in here? I, I guess thing one is you've got to get in the team. Yeah, get in the team, play as many games as po possible. Um, add, add to what they had last year. Um, obviously, get on well with the lads, but I think I've done that. But you know, I've come here to get promotion, and uh, that's what the gaffer said from, from word one. I've been promoted from this league before, and I want to do it again.